If you guys missed the last episode, aka the last live stream that I did for this Las Vegas Royale series, you guys missed an amazing game against Kyle Cavana and the Dallas Mavericks. The game came down to the wire. We had a clutch block and with an opportunity to tie the game, Klay Thompson could not get the three-pointer to go. I kicked it out to Prince Patterson. He launched a contested two. Can't get both of those clutch shots to go, but then I get the steal. I kick it to the corner, Prince Patterson to try to force OT could not get that bucket to go either so Prince Patterson and Clay Thompson choked in the clutch on my last live stream but it still was an amazing game against the Dallas Mavericks don't worry the next time I face off against you guys we are definitely gonna get this W back and avenge this L that we took on our home court but we are three and one to start this NBA season we was on a three game winning streak but of course we just took an L to the Dallas Mavericks but check this out Prince Patterson came to my office and he was like bruh I'm not happy with the performance that I had against my former team because if you guys don't remember, the Dallas Mavericks did draft Prince Patterson but then traded him to the Las Vegas Royales for the third overall pick in a future first rounder. That's what we gave him. And I was like, bro, don't even worry about it. You got nothing to worry about. Let's put that game behind us. We are definitely going to get them back. So I just said, you got to put it behind you. It didn't bother me and it didn't bother your teammates. We are your basketball family now. You got nothing to worry about. We going to bounce back and we are going to avenge that L. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry about it. Just don't choke in the clutch next time. But anyways, moving forward, up next, we are going to be facing off against Freddie Galtieri and the Charlotte Hornets. This is going to be another lit game, primarily because we're facing off against another top five rookie that was drafted in the previous NBA draft. So Freddie Galtieri have a squad with Dwight Howard, TJ McConnell, Avery Bradley. They got a pretty decent team over there in Charlotte, but for some reason, they are still yet to win a game. So they're 0-3 to start this NBA season while we're 3-1. and But before I get to this game, check this out, right? Our attendance for our first home game was at 79%, and the next game was at 69%. And it's all because I raised the ticket prices, right? So last season, we were selling tickets for $54. This season, I upped it to $70, and I have no more price changes left. So now for this home game against the Charlotte Hornets, I'm running that family night game promotion in hopes that it increases my attendance because we don't want our attendance to drop below 69%. So without further ado, welcome to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, as we get ready to face off against Freddie Galtieri and the Charlotte Hornets. Hope Hopefully fans show up for this game because this game is definitely about to be lit. Charlotte Hornets, Las Vegas Royales. Let's go Vegas. Tip off time here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. As Jokic cannot win the tip against Dwight Howard. Come on, bro. And look at our audience. There are so many empty seats as Prince Patterson gets the steal. I see Klay Thompson. I get it to Klay to go. And he throws down. It has to be an easier way to get more price changes on my GM. But here, oh, come on. Prince Patterson turning the ball over. Here comes Freddie Galtieri. He is yet to score to start this game. He gets it down low to Dwight Howard. And Dwight Howard lays it up and in. Let's see what we got. Come on. We can't allow the Hornets to come on our home court and beat us. This is a wide open jump shot. And Prince Patterson knocks down the... This should be an easy jump shot for Prince Patterson. And he cannot get the shot to go. But hey, we still got the two-point lead. Here's Freddie Galtieri. He's not making that. He should have never pulled up in traffic like that. But let's see what we got. Moving the basketball. Prince Patterson getting it to the corner. Clay Thompson. That's not a three. Shot clock is winding down. And they're going to everybody else but Freddie Galtieri. I expected them to go to him more. Oh, they get that weak stuff out of here. Excellent block by Triple J. He gets it to Prince Patterson. Another easy two points for us. Although we barely have people in the audience, they're still 10 defense. I appreciate that. But here comes Frank Kaminsky or whatever his name is. And he gets the easy floater to go. Still an excellent first quarter for us. We're scoring on like every single possession. Literally, the Hornets, their defense sucks. They can't do nothing. Watch this. I'm getting all the way to the basket with Colin. Kicking it out. Triple J knocks out the open. Come on, we need to stop on this possession. And we definitely need to get our offense going. Avery Bradley launches the three. Can't get that shot to go. I did not expect that shot to go in anyways. But here comes Josh Hart driving to the basket. That should have been a foul. Oh, my goodness. I shot an air ball, but I got the offensive rebound. Kicking it out. Hart for three. 
I soon get ready to bring in Michael Jabari. Oh, there we go. Derek Rose with the beautiful steal. Time to push the tempo. Here comes Josh Hart. Taking it all the way to the basket. And one. There we go. Excellent and one for Josh Hart. As Freddie Galtieri checks back into the game. And Josh Hart knocks down. This game is definitely going to end in a blowout. Especially the way my second unit have been defending the Charlotte Hornets. As soon as I was about to give them credit for playing good defense, we give up a wide open layup. Well, that, that was kind of mouthful. I can't even lie. But anyways, let's see what we got in this possession. Here comes Colin. Let's see. About to run that beautiful pick and roll. Derrick Jones Jr. with Michael Jabari. Who is that wide open? Kyle Corver. Perfect release. Knocking down. Shot clock winding down. They're going to have to put up something. Here's Malik Monk. Pulls up. Can't get the shot to go. We get the rebound. I was going to say the offensive rebound. We got the defensive rebound. Here comes Colin. About to. Ah, oh man. I should have been able to drop to the basket with ease. Moving the basketball. Kyle Corver running the pick and roll with Michael Jabari. Kicking it out. Okay, we got some good ball movement, but our floor spacing is horrible. But here comes Colin Sexton driving to the basket. Get nice handoff to the Joker. Yo, the Hornets are really running their offense around Avery Bradley. Like, they're really seriously doing that. Okay, here's Avery. Oh, nice pass. That should have been a block. Looked like he was definitely about to put the shot up, but at the last second, he passed the ball. Pretty good play by Avery Bradley, but they're literally going to him on every possession. Freddie Galtieri is yet to score. But here comes Prince Patterson. I'm about to make him score. He takes it all the way to the basket and one. There was no way he was going to miss driving baseline. And he completes the three-point Let me see what Triple J could do to start this third quarter, to start the second half. He gets a nice post up and one. We have really been destroying the Charlotte Hornets inside, down low, at the three-point line. Like, we are really destroying the whole thing CPU right now. They can't get nothing going. And Freddie Galtieri is still yet to score. Like, come on, bro. I know you're a rookie and all, but at least give me two points. Here he goes. Freddie Galtieri turns the ball over. I get the ball up ahead. Prince Patterson driving, lays it up and in. Another easy bucket. And we are literally stomping out the Charlotte Hornets. I feel so bad for them right now. Like, go to Freddie Galtieri. Let him launch some shots. Do something. Let's see what they got in this possession. Here's Malik Monk running that pick and roll with Freddie Galtieri. Is he going past him? Nope. Malik Monk takes it to the basket and gets the layup to go. I was not expecting that shot to go in at all. But we still got a 15-point lead against the Hall of Fame CPU. Let's keep the offense rolling right now. About to run that beautiful pick and roll. I'm about to go to Triple J again. But who's this wide open in the corner taking his time? Clayton. Oh, let me see what you got, Malik Monk. Playing that manual defense on Malik Monk. He is not going nowhere. He got to pass to Portis. Oh, he launches the three and knocks it down. Okay. I see you, Monk, putting in that work. But anyways, we still got the huge lead. Let's see if we can build on it. Running that pick and roll. Colin all the way to the basket. And one. Another beautiful and one for my squad. We are just lighting them up in the paint. And he knocks down the Bradley at the free throw line. Second free throw is good. But we've been having a pretty beastly third quarter. I should let my starters play for like the rest of the third quarter and rest them in the fourth quarter. But I still got Colin out there getting it inside to Michael Jabori. Why is it so easy to score in the paint against this team? They're not playing no defense. Here's Bradley. Drive and putting up the shot in the double team like he was actually going to get that shot to go. Bradley's been forcing up a lot of shots, bro. Like, he needs to really chill out. All right, here's Mitchell Robinson down low. Pump faking, pump faking, and one. Another one. <laughs> oh, man. I think I got like five different players that got an and one as Mitchell Robinson knocks down the free throw. Here's D. Rose driving, not going nowhere. I'm trying to see. I mean, I was going to see if I could get it inside to Jordan Bell. But I didn't want to turn the ball over. Here's Mitchell Robinson. They try to draw the foul. Mitchell Robinson getting right past the defender, laying it up and then Come on, bro. You got to play better defense than that. Trying to draw the charge. Like, what are you doing? But excellent manual defense right now on TJ McConnell. Making sure they don't get inside. Let's see what they got in this possession. Are they going to get to Avery Bradley? Nope. They get it to Alexander. Nice ball movement. Avery Bradley for three. I'm telling you guys, they are literally going to him on every single possession. Like, he's really the go-to guy for this team. But here's Derrick Rose inside. Can't get the shot to go. Who's this wide open? I kick it out. Michael Jabari for three. Here's Bradley. He about to run that pick. Oh, no. He gets right past me and takes it all the way to the basket. Throwing on the jam. 13 points. 
Five attempts from the field, two assists for Avery Bradley as Rose takes it all the way to that basket and lays it up. In Hornets moving that basketball, getting to Freddie Galtieri. He is yet to score, and this game is almost over as he takes it all the way to the basket, right on cue. And yup, I'm right. First two points of the game in the fourth quarter. But the Charlotte Hornets cut my lead down to eight points. We haven't scored in more than four minutes as I try to get it inside to Jordan Bell. That definitely was not the smartest idea. Let's see what they got. Freddie Galtieri knocks down the three. And our lead has been cut. Shot clock winding down. We are going to have to put something up. Kyle Corver for three. Can't get the shot to go back. Get the offensive rebound and a put back with Michael Jabori. And we push our lead right back up. I did not expect this game to low-key come down to the wire. Less than a minute remaining. We got a five-point lead. I got to bring my starters back into this game because right now my second unit really blew it. Like, they literally blew our entire lead. Whatever we do, no threes. Let's see what they got in this possession. Excellent defense from Prince Patterson. And he forces the turnover. We get the ball right back. Five-point lead. Time to end this game strong. Getting the ball to Klay Thompson. Oh, I was expecting them to foul. They're not going to foul. Let's see what we got. They're bringing that double team, moving the basketball. Prince Patterson all the way to the basket. It looks like he got fouled, but that should definitely do I want to get one more shot up, but they deflected the ball out of bounds. Doesn't matter. We get the W against the Charlotte Hornets, and we put ourselves back in the win column. 4-1 to start this NBA season. I knew we wasn't going to lose this game, but down the stretch, I was really hoping that Freddie Galtieri took over and made this game competitive, especially because they cut our lead down to three points, but they were not able to do that. Freddie Galtieri finished with five points. Malik Monk, Avery Bradley, and Kaminsky did their thing. They were the leading scorers for the Charlotte Hornets. Malik Monk, when I normalized play to simulation stats, had 24 points. Avery Bradley with 21. Frank with 20 and 9. Dwight Howard with the double-double. Freddie Galtieri only had 10 points. But then looking at the box score for our squad, this was a perfect team win, perfect team effort. Although we almost squandered the game coming down the stretch. But Prince Patterson, leading scorer of the game. When I normalized play to simulation stats, he had 29 points, 3 steals, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Clay the GOAT with 24 points, 2 main 3-pointers. Jabari had 22 and 5. Triple J with 16. Josh Hart with 12. The Joker with 10 and 9. And the rest of the team did their thing. But after that game, although we beat the Charlotte Hornets, our attendance was at 65 percent so our attendance is steady going down although i ran a game day promotion so i don't know when i'm gonna get some more price changes but i definitely need that asap i'm gonna have to find some way to get more vc to level up my my gm so i could get those price changes i definitely need to lower the price down to at least 60 dollars to make sure our fan attendance is at least at 90 percent 95% like bruh 65% for this team you gotta be kidding me nah that's unacceptable bruh that's really unacceptable but hopefully I could get that all figured out if you guys have any tips leave a comment in the comment section below for me but anyways another good game and another good team win for us let's keep on winning and grinning baby let's go Vegas